Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play the Tennessee Waltz. I think this is probably my favourite of all country waltzes and it's certainly one of the most well known and popular. It was written in 1946 by Pee Wee King and Red Stewart and it was inspired by hearing uh, Bill Monroe's Kentucky Waltz which is also a lovely tune. It was made uh, famous in 1950. Uh, it was a big hit for Patti Page and uh, later for Patsy Cline and Bill Monroe also played it and um, there's countless recordings. It's a, a very nice key, the key of D for the fiddle. It's ideal for standard fiddle ornamentation, uh, drones and double stops and uh, hammer-ons and so forth. I'm going to give you two versions, one simple version, simply as possible, and uh, a second one with some of those nice variations. So let's start off with the basic tune. So this can be played nice and slow. One, two, three, one, two. Now played solo without any accompaniment, uh, it's a little bit plain and um, there are some lovely chords in there and that's part of the reason why uh, fiddle players like to dress it up with lots of double stops. But let's just play it again just like that um, but with the backing and then you'll hear how nice it sounds. now is to add some of those decorations and um, a lot of it is little hammer-ons so for, for example right at the beginning um, a lot of those uh, second finger notes can have a little first finger hammered on we've got a few triplets um, with little chromatic runs Here's another little hammer on, and then that is another um, little ornament. Another hammer on, and when we get to the open A's, 
you can get your fourth finger on and play two A's at once. Hammer on. Another triplet. Hammer on and fourth finger. Now here's an interesting one. Um, we've got a drone under the D. Now this will depend on whether your accompanist is going to play the F sharp chord. A lot of accompanists won't. They will just uh, they'll just stick on the D. In which case that B flat is going to sound distinctly odd. But if you do get the F sharp, then this is great sound. So it's B flat under E. And then we're sliding up to third position with a D and a B under it. So we then have the movement through those three chords. Hammer on. And here's a little variation. Which is not part of the melody but sounds really good. So it's on the top and on the bottom. And for all of the hammer-ons and the triplets and all the little notes, uh, do them into big long slurs so it sounds really smooth. And just one other thing, uh, all of the quavers are swung, um, so this is a, a very definitely a, a, a gentle swinging feel rather than a straight 3-4 feel. So let's play this once through with the chords. Incidentally, you will find countless variations on a small scale um, because if you just sing two different verses of this song then it's going to sound slightly different on the two verses because of the way the words come out. And so a fiddle interpretation is always going to sound um, slightly different. Uh, I've based mine, as I very often do, on uh, Casey Willis's version. Um, he has some great videos which I always consult. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. I can send you a copy of um, the, the variations I've got here. And I'm going to play you out with one through that and a little bit of soloing as well. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon.